the success of the Big Four agenda, the success of our country's economic uh, uh, well-being, if we are talking about jobs, if we are talking about any kind of infrastructure, we must realize as a country that the secret of the success of such is only one thing, our ecological infrastructure. And we can only understand that it is so simple, it is so cheap to maintain our ecological infrastructure. It only becomes expensive when we start demolishing this ecological infrastructure. So this must be the basis of the growth of our nation and the economic agenda of our nation. If we are looking for more jobs, we must deal with that. It concerns me beyond else. When we see a lot of wrong beings, uh, wrongdoings being done in these uh, areas. I assure you, there is no one single developer who has built in an area that has got issues em environmentally that has not received a document warning them. None. Because there are sufficient officers, there are people who are doing that, there is a procedure for you to build uh, whenever you want to do a development, and therefore you may have received some sort of warning. When the warning is not convenient, and the word is convenient to you, you find that you are told that it's 30 meters, and you go and look at the property that is so, uh, told to you that you cannot construct anything like that, the developer is left with an option. The law says 6 to 30 meters. So who is supposed to, to give that guidance? I'm going to use my other means to be able to do that. NEMA has refused. So I'm sorry that we cannot proceed with this. So they go to Warma. They get a second letter to say that you are now hereby allowed to construct within six meters and not the 30 meters that was originally there. So the developer has got two documents. He puts one on the right pocket and one on the second pocket so that they continue with the construction, knowing very well that there is a problem somewhere. And they will continue with this kind of a situation up to the point that for sure that building will definitely be brought down, whether through a court order or through any other means because you're supposed to do that. If there was proper awareness, if the institutions involved were properly advised, uh, were, were properly uh, able to communicate this information to the developers, we would never have this kind of an issue. And what government, what country would want to waste their people's money when they are doing such developments? This is the question and we need to really uh, get into it right. There is, there is what is called pro professional negligence. We have engineers in this country. We have architects in this country. And they are the ones whom I challenge today to be responsible. You cannot deal with your client in a way that you already know that something is wrong, something is questionable, and you continue to even influence the county government to give authorities. That is proper, utter professional negligence in the side of architects and engineers. And I want to humbly challenge them because they can see this entire process from A to Z. We should never have people losing money, having their properties brought down and in a position and status that they can never be refunded at any given time. But then bringing these people together is a challenge. And it has to start from the government, the minister. I want to challenge my minister because this is a known problem. There can never be a finger pointing kind of a position to one institution or the other. It's to bring them down together. Sit down with all the institutions that are involved in this kind of a situation. Is it the county government? Is it Warma? Is it the, the Architectural Association of Kenya? Is it uh, the Survey of Kenya? Is it the, the, the developers? Invest in them. 
talk to them. When you talk about the riparian space, one thing is for sure, that you will find buildings coming up in such spaces that are very sensitive ecologically. And you find that the imagination of the owner of the specific construction site or the property imagines that the space that has been given for certain development in that area is depriving them of that land, which is not the case. This remains their land, and when Warma gets there, they are concerned about just the management of the river. Because you cannot interfere with the, with the morphology of the river, you cannot deposit waste in the river, you must keep it in its most natural position. And therefore, that awareness becomes something that we really must invest on. But do we invest in that? Or is it finger pointing and, and, and uh, disagreements between institutions and the other? And I, I think this is something that has been happening over time. So that there is no awareness that has been put in place. When you look at institutions and their officers that are there, talk about NEMA, top professionals. If there is something wrong in NEMA, it will be few individuals which must be rooted out and thrown to a place that they will be forgotten even to the third generation. And the same happens even with Warma. But then, what are we doing to ensure that there is that consistency in terms of policy? I think this is where we must focus on, because lest we focus on that, it will depend now on the individual, who is the minister and who is the chair of this organization, or who is who. And therefore, if they are not working together, then the entire institution suffers. And therefore, this must be kicked out by dealing with the issue of policy at its best. You find that the laws that govern and the, the guidance from the, from the uh, survey act, they do not rhyme with what the, the, the uh, Warma Act talks about, the six to ten meters from, from, the, from the river center. You find that, uh, that uh, the people of Nema may be pushing for a different 30 meters uh, position. When you go to other parts of the world, you go to London, Thames is built up to its uh, river. But the difference is only one, that people are not aware of what they're supposed to do. You can't abuse the river because that's part of the ecological infrastructure that we are talking about. And the moment you mess it up, it messes you beyond else and it takes generations to ever bring back this to the position that it's supposed to be. Talk about NEMA, talk about WARMA, talk about other institutions. They are struggling to some points that at times they don't even have money for their own employees as salaries. When are they going to be able to enhance the kind of issues that they are supposed to be enhanced before even they deal on, uh, on matters of, uh, on, on, on uh, matters of, uh, 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 matters that may be challenging in one way or another. Speak the language that people want to hear. Tell them by cleaning the Nairobi River, this is the job opportunities that are going to come to this country. These are the business opportunities that you are missing. 
we can be able to build up beautiful hotels over this river. And the river, when it is clean, you are able to do this. In terms of collecting the garbage, we are able to collect so much garbage, the plastic and everything that is there. And this can go into an industry that will bring out opportunities. Use what people want to hear, something that connects to their lives. You cannot just tell and stand and tell people, today this is what we are doing because we just want the river to be clean. It's not enough. Let the people connect with you. So we need to be strategic in the way we communicate our issues. This is where we are lagging behind. Less of this, we will continue to blame. Nema, you are doing nothing. We will say, Warma, you are doing nothing. We will say the, the, the contractors and the developers are greedy. But where will that end us up? It doesn't affect the Mwanainchi in, the, in general where it should be. We should speak the language of the Mwanainchi to support the presidency and the, uh, ensuring that our, our, our generation is secure in terms of our ecological space that is so important for our nation and its posterity. Thank you.